Welcome. In this video, we will go over turning the new look on and navigating in Infinite Canvas throughout the new look. We will begin by clicking on the head and shoulders in the top right corner and clicking on the toggle to turn the new look on. Once the new look is turned on, you will see three tabs on the left panel. You will see the open folder, which indicates the main menu. This assimilates the index panel as you see in the classic look. Next is the favorites panel that will show any item where you have filled in the star and marked it as a favorite. The third tab is your recent tools, which is similar to your browsing history. The hamburger in the top left will hide or display the three tabs on the left panel. As you are getting used to the new look, one thing that may be helpful is the search icon. The search icon shows you all tools that you have access to search, including student, possibly course section, household, and more. One of those items is the tool search. As you are getting used to the new look, you may want to utilize the tool search to locate those tools that you were able to find on the index panel in the classic look. For example, we will search for the staff history tab. We need to make some scheduling changes. I will begin by typing in staff history and hitting the search button. Several items display and I want to review those items and click on whichever one is most helpful. I need to navigate to the staff history tab. When you navigate to any tabs that you have to select data for, such as courses, students, and more, it will identify that you need to go back to the search to locate that item. It tells me a section is needed to use this tool. I will click on open section search and I will search for the course that I need. At this time, I'm just going to pull up all courses, so I will hit the search button. As I scroll down, I can see the courses that I have access to, or I can search for a specific course. I will search for algebra, select a section, and now I am on the staff history tab. One of the benefits of the new look is that all of the tabs are sorted by related tools in alphabetical order. So when I look to the right hand side, if I need to move to any other course or section tabs, I can look to the right hand side and click on whatever tab I need that's listed in alphabetical order. If I need more room, I can click on the related tools icon to give myself some more space. I'm going to click on the favorite and come back and make this schedule change later. If I need to see where the staff history tab is located, I can follow the breadcrumbs in the top right and move from staff history to courses, to scheduling and courses, to see all of the tools that I have access to grouped by the particular type of tool. I will now navigate back to the type dropdown and select student. I will remove my criteria and now I will search for a student. Putting in the last couple letters of their name, I'm going to search for Bryce Thompson. When I search for Bryce Thompson, it does navigate me straight to the last set of student tabs, whether that be student information or census. When I click on the right hand side, I see the related tools and they are sorted in alphabetical order, just as I mentioned before. So I can quickly navigate to view Bryce's grades or his behavior or any other tools just as an example. On the left panel, I can click back on the hamburger to navigate back to the three tabs, and I can go back to favorites if I need to. Right now I'm on the behavior tab, but if I want to quickly jump back to look at Bryce's summary tab, I can either click on the right hand side or I can click over here to the left. If I am familiar with ad hoc reporting, and I want to jump straight to one of the ad hoc tools, I can click on Filter Designer, which I have previously marked as a favorite, and quickly jump to that tool. Again, in the right-hand corner, you can navigate back to the previous area to see where your tools are located to quickly find those other tools you need access to. You can rearrange your favorites at any point in time by clicking on the Edit icon and dragging those items around. I will drag Filter Designer up, data viewer just up above it and then hit save. And I've decided that I don't need the attendance tab to be on my favorites. So if I click on attendance and then I click on the star, it is removed from our favorites. Thank you for checking out our video. 
please visit our JCPS Technical Learning Center by navigating to jcps.me slash TLC for resources on Infinite Campus, Google for Education, and more.